Hey guys, DM Cubing. Today we are going to magnetize a Mohuan Chao Su Chuen 2x2 Speed Cube. I've had several requests for this tutorial. Now let me just say at the outset here, the basic technique and design that you see in this tutorial is going to be the same like with the, uh, the Zing Hen or the Xing Hen cube, the 2x2. What I mean is it has removable caps. Once the caps are removed, the internal mechanisms are similar. The magnetic placement is identical. But in this project, I wanted to try a little weaker magnet. A lot of people kind of gravitate to the N35 4x2 magnet. It's a bit powerful in a 2x2. And then when we reduce it down to a 4x1 magnet, it's not enough. So I thought I would put 5 millimeter by 1 millimeter in an N48 grade strength. Well, the thing is, is the 5 millimeter uh, magnets won't fit in this. They're too wide. So I used a comparable magnet, uh, a magnet with the comparable strength, and that magnet's an N52 3 millimeter by 1.5 millimeter uh, magnets I got at gosboys.com. It gives an excellent feel. It, it, it has that magnetic feel that we want in our cubes. I've been spending a lot of time on three by threes. I know that's obvious. That's just kind of my thing. And I haven't been real pleased with my two by twos. And I'm like, you know, I need to really kind of like really concentrate, find a cube that I can make fast and have a subtle magnetic feel that doesn't jar the cube and make it feel like it just wants to like bounce out of your hands every time the magnets engage. And I'm getting close. I think this three by 1.5 is very close. So I recommend this. It's, it's I would say kind of a, a medium magnetic strength, not too subtle, definitely not too strong. So here's my tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them. Uh, here we go. Of course, you'll need your magnets. With all of our cube projects, 3x3s and 2x2s, you need 48 neodymium magnets. Again, I used an N52 grade 3 millimeter by 1.5 millimeter magnet that I got at gossboys.com. You'll need your favorite adhesive. I, just about in all of my videos, use Gorilla Brand Impact Tough Super Glue. It's a kind of a thicker style. I wouldn't call it a gel but it is a thicker viscosity super glue, so it's not prone to running. It gives me a little time to position the magnets. If they don't go perfectly into place, you'll see in the video here in a minute how I'm still able to kind of push them into position if they don't go there right the first time. And since it's thick, it's not gonna be prone to running into any internal workings of the cube. And then I use a, a wooden stick to apply. This is actually kind of like an electronics cleaning swab, like a big, uh, Q-tip. Well, it's not a big Q-tip, but it's like a Q-tip on a wooden stick, and I just use the opposite end of the uh, cotton swab of it. Or you could use a toothpick. Just make sure to kind of clip the sharp point off so you can get a nice rounded drop of glue. The first thing we do to the cube is kind of tighten down the tensions. You don't want your cube real free-flowing at this point. Once we take the caps off, you're going to be placing magnets in very precise locations and you don't want the faces moving around. So unlike some two by twos where you can really, you can seize some two by twos by tightening so much that nothing is going to move on it. The Chu Wen is still going to have a little bit range of motion with the screws tightened up fairly tight, but just do this to kind of eliminate a lot of play of the individual parts while we're placing magnets into precise locations. Disassembly is very easy. You have the corner caps which pull straight off. There are three outer poles that hold it in or little post, three inner post, and then a center column. So it's, it's a total of seven little posts and columns that hold the uh, cap into place. And now we inspect to make sure that all the surfaces are flush and even across. This will just kind of help our magnets align to each other. What's nice about this cube is we've got a perfect location for the magnet that's going to allow us to repeat over and over the same exact location for each magnet. But keeping the, the, the internal working squared up will help place the secondary magnet. As you'll see in a little bit, once I place one magnet and the glue's holding it into place, we put another drop. And then if these are perfectly across from each other, you're guaranteed that your magnet is going to go right in the right position. So we just kind of square the internal workings up a little bit here. 
Here I'm showing with my stick exactly where the magnets are going to be. That's also where I'm going to place the first drop of glue. But you see this little nook. The magnet is just going to fit comfortably right into that. And once we place that first magnet there, the opposite magnet on the other side of the plastic where my left index finger is, that magnet will just fall right into place or click right into place. Gluing the magnets. To keep my polarity consistent, I always place a little piece of paper between the last two magnets on one end of my stick of magnets. I'll be removing the first magnet of each pair from the opposite end of the stick. For the actual gluing in of the magnets, I'll place a medium sized drop of glue on my stick and then transfer this drop from the stick to this location on the 2x2. With the stick of magnets in my left hand, I've removed one magnet and I'll use the stick of magnets to attract that magnet as it's glued properly into place. You'll see that it fits snugly right underneath this post. Next, I'll place another drop of glue opposite of the magnet under the other post. This is where the other magnet will go. The magnetic attraction of the first magnet will set the polarity of the second magnet and also attract it into place. Make sure that each magnet is properly in place. Then we follow up by placing an additional drop of glue over each magnet. This just helps solidify our bond of magnet to plastic and creates a more durable cube. While you're working on your cube, make sure to remove any glue that goes where it shouldn't. It's a lot easier to remove now while it's wet than waiting until it's dried and then pieces have glued together. If you're using a thinner super glue or, or you're worried about the glue running, you can always position the body of the cube on its side and apply the glue this way. Then we just reposition the body of the 2x2 two two so that the drop of glue is at the upper right and then we bring our stick of magnets in, remove one, and then place our magnets normally. We'll be gluing a total of 24 pairs of magnets throughout the cube in this exact location. We'll go one direction, rotate the cube, go that direction, rotate the cube, go that direction, and then turn the cube around 180 degrees until each and every location that you see indicated here has been glued with one pair of magnets. Here we see the completed gluing process. All 24 pairs of magnets have been glued into place. It's a good idea at this point in time to set the cube body on a flat surface to allow the glue plenty of time to dry and harden. We'll reassemble it by adjusting the tensions and putting the caps on in the morning. The next morning I loosened up the tensions and made sure that everything was free flowing and smooth. Then I put the caps back on. I think the N52 3 by one5 millimeter magnets are great in this cube and probably other 2 by 2 cubes. It gives just enough of magnetic feel without being over powerful. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them and I'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching. Happy cubing. Bye. <laughs>